this is a short descriptive video about a Copal Caslon flip alarm clock, the model 701, in a somewhat rare uh, color, very stylish 60s, 70s green, I would say more 60s than 70s. Some reason this color is a bit more rare than the other ones. You have this clock in beige, um, very bright orange, very dark charcoal like grey and the green one. And the beige one is not too hard to find and the charcoal one is relatively, I wouldn't say easy, but not too hard to find. Um, the orange one, uh, every now and then the green one I think I may have had one before in the past 10-15 years. So yeah, for some reason they're somewhat elusive. Originally, so this clock isn't entirely original. Originally, this has the beige slash slash off white faceplate, and I can see why they chose that combination back in the 70s because you know it was kind of a thing to do, I guess. Um, I just don't really like it, and since I'm the one that restores these clocks, I get to choose. Um, the beige off white version has a black faceplate originally. So what I did, is I swapped the faceplate with the beige one and uh, the beige one is actually getting restored soon with the beige faceplate so that actually gives it a whole different look. Uh, I like that more than it was with the black faceplate as for this one uh, as well. There's currently an orange one of these in my shop that had the same conversion done to it and it gives it a much more classic uh, um, look if you ask me but that's that's my opinion of course uh, I like it I, uh, I restored it I did it so I have black fa black flaps uh, black faceplate the only and there's two things about this clock I have to mention is that this button was um, um, damaged in such a way I couldn't repair it so I took this off a parts clock dark gray clock that I had I mean you see it but you don't really notice it and you can't see it in the picture uh, uh, on the on the footage here, but you can see it on one of the pictures on Etsy. There's a really really small, uh, hardly noticeable hairline crack there. Um, you know, it doesn't depict the clock in any way whatsoever. But I mean, I just have to mention it. Um, I will just quickly turn on the alarm there. Um, It's not buzzing right now, that's because this clock has some sort of quirky uh, avant la lettre uh, snooze function. Uh, so there's an extra wheel attached to the motor that actually, uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but once you see it you will get it. In any case, that controls the alarm, so once every minute, um, 8, 9, 10 seconds the alarm will sound, and then it will stop, and it will sound again after, let's say a minute, unless you turn it off, so it will I guess it will prevent you from going back to sleep so it was probably before they invented like the snooze button uh, uh, however I don't think the snooze button would actually work on a flip clock um, so this clock was um, cleaned polished on the outside the glass was cleaned uh, polished um, the wiring was replaced new light new resistor there you go this will sound for roughly 10 seconds it will stop by itself there you go. Um, the glass was polished, new wiring, new light, new resistor, uh, the motor was cleaned, lubricated, new cable, new plug. Uh, so basically this clock is good to go for another um, many years. Um, as I said, this clock, this color is somewhat rare. Uh, this clock is comparable with the um, Topal 703, which also has the same uh, Avant la lettre snooze function, let's call it. Um, just looks slightly different. Um, I prefer the 703, however, I really like this one as well. And as you can see, of course, it's working. Um, I think that's about it. Any questions? Let me know. Thank you for watching.